Black Adam is unlike any superhero you've ever seen before. He does the things that we've not typically seen from heroes. He's got unbelievable strength. He can move near light speed. He can conjure magical things. He is a powerhouse. Tone is everything when it comes to filmmaking. Obviously, the superhero genre has been done a lot. It's been done incredibly well. The bar is very high. In the world of comic book superheroes and supervillains, you have these characters who operate uh, in a world that it's either black or white. Well, an anti-hero, in my opinion, kind of lives in that gray area, kind of lives right in the middle. They have a little bit of darkness. Sometimes they have a lot of darkness. I like characters that walk that fine line between doing the right thing and doing what needs to be done. And I immediately saw a character that was very similar to some of the characters played by Clint Eastwood in the 70s, where in a time and a place where the system breaks down, that character was able to bring justice in ways that other people were not able to do. I felt like I hadn't seen that character in the superhero space and that to me was very exciting. He crosses a particular line where there's more room for savagery <laughs> without accountability. And however, the line he crosses, he does cross that line for a just cause. The Black Adam is a hero to his people of conduct. He's their champion for a country and people who are oppressed and enslaved. And seemingly, they have no hope except for one man. I've never seen any type of superhero movie kind of tackled. What does freedom look like? What does liberation actually look like? If Black Adam doesn't save Kondok, no one will. Superman and Batman aren't coming to Kondok anytime soon to save them. You could really use a superhero right about now. I'm no hero. It's a bit of an overlooked area on the globe, but that's going to change when Adriana says those magic words, Shazam, and she unleashes um, this force of nature in Black Adam. Six immortal elders by name. What? Shazam! Shazam. Black Adam is extremely powerful. He's a god. The idea of this person who's essentially a demigod or a god walking on this planet but has a sense of loss from his family, but also a sense of doubt within himself of feeling like he wasn't truly chosen for this. You know, he's always had that held over his head. Black Adam is a man who is really tortured. There's, there's demons within him. There's a lot of pain behind his eyes. Black Adam is someone who lost his family. He's haunted by the loss of what he had. Everything is founded in love for his family and just wanting to protect them when you know there's someone you love, if anything would happen to them, you just imagine what it does to you. So there was something very real and grounded in that kind of psychology for this character. He doesn't just want to go around hurting people, but if you hurt those he loves, it's a bad day for you. <laughs> he does have a moral code, but he also calls it like he sees it and he's not afraid. He gets to still keep that edge, still do all the things that the other good guys may have hard lines against just because they have their moral code, their ethics. And Black Adam has his ethics too, but Black Adam gets to play a little bit differently. Once he arrives in Kondok, he is embraced by most as a champion, but to the Justice Society, he is an outright villain. And those two worlds clash. Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. That's one of the interesting parts of our movie, as it kind of thematically talks about what makes a hero, or who has the right to define what justice is. When Black Adam meets somebody like Hawkman, who has a very strict and, and very defined justice and moral code, they are kind of at odds with each other. But they're both two sides of the same coin. For every person in the world, there is a DC character for them that they can relate to. And I could think back when I was a kid, when I used to read comics, Black Adam was a character who had his own moral code. That meant something to me. It's a really moving journey of a, of a man who's had to deal with a lot of loss. His son truly believed that one man could motivate thousands to make a change. Sometimes we do have to be a hero to others, even if you don't feel like necessarily that you're here for the cause or worthy for that. Black Adam ultimately starts to identify with his own self and realizes that he has to be. That's what his calling is. Shazam.